Hey everyone, I'm Julie Smith from The Techie Teacher, and I wanted to share some of my favorite tools for finding free images and stock videos for classroom projects. Now these tools are great for both teacher and student use, and I had this question come up several times in the past two weeks. So I just wanted to jump on here real quickly and share my go-tos, because we don't wanna go online and use just any image or video that we come across. And there are so many different types of tools out there, but these are the ones that I've been using for the past few years with both teachers and students, and they've just been very reliable. So what I'm gonna do is split my screen to show you some of these different tools. All right, here we go. All right, first up, photos for class. This one was created just for school use. So students can come here and find any image that they want to use in maybe their green screen videos, other videos they're creating, presentations, posters, or whatnot. They have age appropriate images, there is an automatic citation when the child goes to download the image, and all of the images are licensed by Creative Commons. But my favorite aspect about this uh, search engine for photos is if a child enters a word or a phrase that's inappropriate, watch what happens. This is a PG-13 Facebook Live, so please excuse me, it's just for demonstration purposes. But there's my inappropriate word, Boom, what pops up but photos of adorable dogs every time a child puts in an inappropriate word. I think this is genius and this is my favorite part and why I use this one so much. I think that's so funny. Another one that's been around for quite a while is Picks for Learning. And this library was curated for safe and free image use for education. Uh, so let's say a child is looking for images of clouds for a project. Look at all of the different options they have, and there are pages and pages worth of clouds here. This one's also nice because if they click on the image, the citation is right here for them. One that I use personally a lot is Pixabay. And this one will not only return images, but if you come over here, let's say I'm looking for clouds again, and I come over here to the drop down menu, I can also find videos. And these are really nice to put behind you in green screen projects if you want kind of an animated effect going on. Another good one for finding free stock videos is Pexels. This one also has an image search as well, but I like to use this one for finding videos. And then finally, if you're on Google and conducting an image search, you can still find images to use uh, by going to tools here. You can also, also get there from settings. But if I go to tools and come here to usage rates, you can figure out which usage you would need for whatever project you're working on. Click on it, and then there you have it. So those are just a few tools that I like to use, like I said, with both teachers and students. Uh, there are a lot of different ones out there, uh, but these have just been great for me. Hope you have a great afternoon and if you're watching the replay feel free to pop in questions in the comments and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for joining.